first one. You got him. Oh, that's a nice fish. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Nice bite. <laughs> All right. About 25, 26 inches. Nice shady spot up there with some sandy beach right off the main point here. Looks like a good spot. Let's go check her out. trip of the year. I'm really happy I can get out one more time before I go out to football practice. I think we're going to have a lot of fun out here and catch a lot of fish. We sure have a good location. It's going to be really hot today, so we have some really nice shade trees right behind us. Yeah, this sand gets really hot when that sun gets to beating down on it. It's supposed to be about 102 degrees for the next three days. So yeah, I think we did pick out a pretty good spot. Lake's up about six feet higher this year than it was last year, and I'm kind of anxious to see the fish are biting. What do you think, guys? I'm pumped. I've been waiting on this trip a year, and let's go do it. Let's go. All right. Hunt Riggs Outdoors strongly endorses this hamburger helper chili cheese. Let it stick to your ribs stuff here. What do you think, Dusty? Hey, it may not be a fresh fish shore lunch, but it's as good as. All right, our hamburger's brown. Then we pour in the, the milk and water and add our noodles. Stir it up a little bit. Last but not least, we got to put in our sauce mix. Double chili cheese macaroni dooley whopping super duper hamburger helper. It's not a hard recipe. It's not even a good recipe. <laughs> oh, this is going to be scrump delicious. Looks done to me. I think we'll dash you up and have supper here. Well, I went on a hike today and I saw a lizard. You know, I saw one also. Those uh, lizards are actually called skinks, and they're pretty common up here in the sand hills. Do you think a fish would eat one of those? Well, I doubt if a skink would ever find itself in the water, but if he did, I'm sure a fish would eat it. You know... I bet you're right. That'll work. Let's see if these fish in here like lizards. fish hit that lure, that lizard, once and uh, I missed him and he came back and hit her again. I guess uh, fish will eat lizards. Trying to mimic these frogs out here in the on the shore, they jump in and the bass are just cruising along the shoreline and 
waiting for something to hop in so they can eat it. You know, up here in Merritt, on these hot summer days, we've got us a bit of a tradition. That tradition's called the Moon Dive. John, would you kind of explain to us where this name Moon Dive came from and how it all got started? Well, I suppose probably, I don't know, 15 years ago or so, we used to come up here in the summer and it would be hot and we get all sweaty during the day and I had another nephew by the name of Jeremiah Johnson that one night we were out here and under the light of a full moon we saw another full moon going over the side of the boat <laughs> and it looked like so much fun that we all dove in now we call it the moon dive that's going to feel really good on evening like this after a hot day today. Big bass. Big bass. Oh, man. There's a football. All right. There's a football. On a rattle trap. And using that, he wasn't hooked very good. Afraid I was going to lose him. Yeah, nice bass. <laughs> 